by now everybody's heard about the shooting in Florida near the golf course that Donald Trump was playing golf in. To be honest with you, I'm going to say a few things, and you're not going to like what I'm going to say. Well, at least the MAGA won't like what I'm going to say. And quite frankly, I don't give a damn. Because quite honestly, after hours after the shooting, these idiots are just incredibly brazen as to what, honestly, I really don't know what to say to this. But honestly, I would still believe that both shootings in Florida, this one in Florida, and in Pennsylvania that cost an innocent man his life were nothing more than a gigantic publicity stunt concocted by the MAGA, concocted by the Trump campaign in order to gain sympathy and votes for Donald Trump. Let me remind you that this week was a disastrous week for Donald Trump. I mean, it's not a big thing because it's been disastrous weeks for Trump for God knows how long. But after a disastrous performance in the in the um, debate against Kamala Harris, not to mention the fact that J.D. Vance went out on CNN and pretty much admit, without admitting it, but completely admitting that what's happening in that the reports that he and Donald Trump have been spreading about what's happening in Springfield, Ohio, with Haitian immigrants was a lie. The dog eating, the cat eating, the goose eating, it's all a lie. After that, a sh- shots are fired outside the, um, outside the golf course where Donald Trump was golfing in Florida. Really? Really? We're supposed to believe that another assassination attempt went down after everything that's happened in the last few days. The fact is, Donald Trump is desperate. The MAGA is desperate. His campaign is incredibly desperate. They're desperate because they know Donald Trump is losing. He's losing the the election. He's losing his campaign. He's losing his mind. And the MAGA are falling all over this. Just minutes after the shooting, the the news of the shooting went down, I get this email asking for money from Donald Trump's campaign. Come on. What normal political candidate would take something like that just minutes after bullets started flying and ask for donations to a campaign? The answer is obvious. A campaign that is falling and is failing. And is running out of ideas because they have none of their own. And I told you all in the MAGA you were going to hate me for this. But the fact is, I don't care anymore. It's time we start calling out these people for what they are. Liars, cheaters, and criminals. And Donald Trump posting on Truth Social, O oh, and 2, as in, you took two shots at me and you missed. You didn't kill me. That in itself should be an indication of how insane this man really is. You don't post about stuff like this. You count your blessings and move the hell on. And what's really bothering me is the fact that every Republican out there, every MAGA out there is just chomping at the bit that this was done by by a Democrat. This was done by a Kamala Harris supporter. It wasn't. The shooter himself, he's been identified as Ralph Wesley, excuse me, Ryan Wesley Ralph is a gun nut, a Republican, who pushes the same COVID-19 conspiracies, the same as the MAGA have been doing for years, and has voted for, despite having voted for Trump, at this point he was a, a Haley, never Trump supporter. 
So that blows this conspiracy theory of the Democrats wanting Donald Trump dead out of the water. But the fact is, this should not be happening. Kamala Harris released a statement not too long ago after the shooting, saying that she was briefed on it and, and abhorred what happened. Donald Trump would never have done that. No one in his campaign would ever have done that, but Kamala Harris did, showing again that she is a real leader, not some fake one trying to stay out of prison like Donald Trump. The fact is this, ladies and gentlemen, this whole thing smacks of desperation by Donald Trump and the campaign, the feigned uh, sympathy after a disastrous week in which Donald Trump might actually lose this election as he's losing his mind. I told you you guys were going to hate me for this, but this is not me speaking as a conspiracy theorist. This is me looking at the, at the facts objectively. And here's the thing. The shooting happened off the co- golf course. The Secret Service got to the guy before any shots could be fired. Fu- Shots at Trump could be fired, so the Secret Service saved Donald Trump's life. So that conspiracy theory from guys like Dan Bordego, uh, whatever, however the hell you say his name, were blown out of the wire that the Secret Service wants Donald Trump dead. But the fact is this. This whole thing reeks of extreme de- desperation by Donald Trump all over again. And it needs to stop. Trump needs to understand that not everyone is going to agree with them. Not everyone's going to bow to him. Now, that's not, not a threat or anything else like that. That is the straight up truth. And the only threat that exists now is the threat by Donald Trump supporters screaming at the bit. That unless we support Donald Trump, we're nothing, we're not Americans, we're not people. The fact is this, ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump, we're not a threat to Donald Trump. Donald Trump is a threat to Donald Trump. CTP, you know the truth, God bless. Peace to the left, justice to the right.